you're watching Big Explainer, the biggest explainer in the world. Born in Australia, McClyman entered the University of Sydney under the sponsorship of the New South Wales Department of Agriculture. After graduating with a bachelor's degree in veterinary science from Sydney and a PhD from the University of Cambridge, he worked as an animal nutrition researcher for the state of New South Wales. After his retirement in 1980, McClyman continued to work with the agricultural industry in Australia and consulted with the United Nations and the World Bank on farm issues. Thus, although McClyman grew up in the Sydney metropolitan area, he spent much holiday time as a youth in a rural environment. His activities at his relatives' farms included lamb marking, fruit picking, horse breaking, and pig shooting. In spite of his lack of formal agricultural training, McClyman passed the exam and interview and was assigned to the University of Sydney's Veterinary Science Program. McClyman joined the Royal Australian Air Force as an aircrew reservist, but was again denied an overseas assignment and ordered to complete his education at Sydney while serving the military in a scientific advisory role. He joined the Volunteer Defence Corps at the rank of sergeant and served weekend duty during the war years at anti-aircraft and radar installations in Australia. Immediately after graduation in 1941, McClyman was appointed as a specialist in animal nutrition at the New South Wales Department of Agriculture. In one instance during the war, McClyman had to respond to a swine influenza outbreak caused by pig meat imported by American troops stationed in Australia. While participating in an operation to kill and burn potentially infected suede in a local piggery, he met his future wife, Vivian Peckover sister of the farmer whose pigs were being slaughtered. From 1947 to 1949, under a Walter and Eliza Hall Veterinary Research Fellowship, he attended the University of Cambridge from which he earned a Doctor of Philosophy. His thesis, called Interrelationships Between the Digestive and Mammary Physiology of Ruminants, was based on research he had conducted in 1947 in which he discovered that green oat consumption by dairy cows produced milk with less butterfat. In the thesis, he explained how the complex interaction between environment, climate, soil, plant, and animal physiology and metabolism